BIM! Guess what? I've had an upgrade on my Virgin. That sounded better in my head than it did when I said it out loud. Anyway, let's not worry about that. I'm on about Virgin uh, Internet Broadband and now Entertainment. Brilliantly connected. Opener. What does it say? Open up for your shiny new kit. Basically, I've been with Virgin for like forever and um, they rang me up the other day and said, you're going out of contract, so what do you want to do? And I'm like, well, I'll be looking everywhere else. I haven't, but I said, I'll be looking everywhere else and I'll probably be leaving you because, you know, your service is a bit crap. Anyway, they offered me loads of uh, extras and um, it was cheaper. Or about the service what I'm paying now, but I get telly, which I've never had before. Telly. I mean, I've had telly, but only free view. But now I've got paid telly. I love it. Well, I don't love it because I've not even opened it yet. Anyway, so it says there. I don't know what it says there. It's got a tag on it there as well, which I've no idea what that's about. I'm trying to pull it out, but nothing happens. There. It's got a tag there as well, which is probably why it won't pull out. Anyway, that's where we need to open it. So we we'll give it a tug. Thank you to my neighbour as well who uh, took it in for me because I was at work. Writing. Oh my word. Uh, meet Virgin TV 360. Uh, powered by. What? Ultra fast fiber. Our fiber powered Virgin TV 360 experience brings together all your screens, favorite channels, and apps so you can seamlessly watch and stream the telly you love at home or on the go. Got, must have a long lead on it then, that's all I can say, we can do it on the go. Also says there, more writing. Uh, jump right in, our fastest TV experience now with personal profiles and super clever voice search and control. Just hit the microphone button, which is that button there. Yeah. Uh, entertainment, ent entertainment brought together the UK's most popular channels, catch-up services and built-in apps. One place so you don't. You won't need to hop around. Uh, TV that moves with you, watching more rooms with 4K ready Virgin uh, mini boxes or stream control and manage your recordings with Virgin TV Go. Get the Virgin TV Go now. Virgin TV Go, what's that? I know this is the tag we were on about before, which I couldn't pull because it's a bloody massive piece of cardboard which says, I'll see a quick 50. A bit sexy, but never mind. Um, refer your friends to Virgin Media and say thanks. We'll treat you both to 50 quid. Just go to virginmedia.com. Right. Boring. So, it's not just TV. Uh, they're now also promising me 1,000, um, whatever it is you get for uh, broadband. This is very uncomfortable, but it's certainly unique. I don't think anyone's ever done an unboxing by having the chin on the actual thing that I'm unboxing. But hey, I like to be different. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Oh, oh. what was that? Oh, it's, um, it says broadband, me, 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 TV, um, stuff and that's the connections to the TV I assume oh yeah there we go oh my god what the hell right so <laughs> it's good of good advice particularly for teenagers everywhere I'm not saying anything uh, and then you got the one for the TV and then you've got the one for, um, what's that? What is that? I can't even read it. Oh, it's, uh, Ethernet, Ethernet. And then you've got, is there two Ethernets? Oh, there's two Ethernets. So we've got two Ethernets, um, push it in and uh, screw. Right, so that's that. 
this side. Oh my word, HDMI. I mean, fog standard. Hands. Don't forget if you like unboxings, I do lots and lots of unboxings. Uh, Ethernet cable. It says it on it, look, Ethernet cable. Brilliant. All right, go on. So, that's so you can screw things in and out of your Ethernet cable thing. Now, not many people know this, but I did used to work for uh, Virgin Media back in the day. Never in the house. I was more of the, uh, you know, the green cabins that you see. I was very good at fibre fibre splicing. I can't even say it. But I was very good at fibre splicing. As, in fact, the guy who trained me was really naffed off because within a day of him training me, I was better at it than he was. <laughs> right, what the hell is that? I've never seen a, was this the router or the TV? Or is this everything? All right, it says that, we're writing. Uh, to maintain, the, I'm reading this backwards, the broadband performance uh, of your new uh, device, make sure all the cables connections Connection points around your home are tight. Uh, to tighten, either push firmly or use the span provided. That apparently is a spanner. Um, slide over the back of the connector and turn clockwise. Once done, please remove this sticker. That's what they all say. So, uh, right, I have no idea. I'm, I'm expecting more. That's rather handy. It gives you a, a card with your, your network and your call thing on it. I'll give you a look. There's my code. If you know where I live, you've still got no chance of finding out what it is. Right. Sticker as well. We have to stick our own stickers on things, which is a bit sad. Right. All right. We're supposed to return the old hope. What are they going to do with the hold up? Oh. So, power cable. It's a power converter. Why would anyone want my old hub? I'm confuzzled. Right, then we've got the the wall socket cable. Tell us wall socket because it says wall socket on it. Um, push me in. Push, push me in. Good advice, kids. Don't forget it. Uh, what's this? Important customer instruction. Appreciate so they all delivery label as you all delivered for cupboard. Return your old Virgin Media equipment. Here's what to do. The box your new kit arrived can be used to return your old kit. Please follow the instructions provided and seal the box using additional sealing tape provided. Be able to stick the prepaid levels, blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. That's it. Thank you for your process. So yeah, Yodel. Yodel? Um, they basically sent me a text saying uh, we've left this box at a neighbour's. Okay, fair enough. And um, what are you doing? Oh, uh, we've left this box at neighbour's, and we've left a uh, note uh, through your door, so you know which neighbour we've left it at. There was no note through the door, so I had to go around to all my neighbours and find out which her had it. Anyway, I found it obviously because it's in here. Um, we've got some. Uh, installation guide and we've got um, 
tips and tricks made for gigabot speeds and beyond. Is that what I've got, a gigabot? Because it did say a thousand, whatever it is, per second. Um, keep your fire fit. When it comes to TV and broadband, no, it's important to keep things fixed quickly. That's why we're working on Gadget Realm. That's for me. I get that. That's some, some, some warranty thing. Right then. So, I think this. Oh. Alright, so this is the TV uh, box. It's upside down. But you knew that. I was just showing the bottom of it. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it's a lot of mesh on that. Look at that. So it must get it must get hot. We've also got as well all these things here. So you've got coax in, uh, audio, Scott out, HDMI, USB, internet, Diaqua, power, and there's an on off switch which weirdly is on. Which is a bit bizarre because well it's on been in the box. I've no idea why it's on. Right. So then we've got remote control. Uh, remote control, uh, which should have somewhere on it. Oh look, it's got one of them things that you pull out so it activates and then you close it properly. Um, oh yeah, it's got a microphone thing on it. Now, I'm not a big fan of these microphone things. I prefer to the, you know, look in them. You know, like you press a microphone and you go, you feel like a right prat, don't you? I'm dreaming of a wine Christmas. Which to be fair, if it's Christmas time, would be perfect, but it's March. I don't know why that's not coming to my head. But there you go. Um, but it's like, you know, uh, play um, Abandoned Engineering and then it'll go to Yesterday Channel and Play Plus, whatever it's called, and it'll come up with it. But I'm, I've never, I've got a fire stick and I've never used that uh, voice microphone. In fact, I don't even know where the bloody remote is. I use a TV remote for that. Anyway, there's there's more and there's more. Come here, there's more. Just hit myself in the face there, so I have. There's more here. Look, 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 look. Look there. I see it. Ta-da! Right. Ta-da! Right, so I'm assuming that that's it now. There's nothing left. The box can gear. That's why I put the box down here. And then... You can watch silence try and climb in it because that's exactly what she'll do that's exactly what she does so we've got the tv box which looks like a tv box now the woman said on it it's had a hundred terabytes so yeah the woman said on the phone it's got a hundred terabytes it's not got any terabytes it's got one terabyte look it says one terabyte but that's more than i've ever had in here before so uh that's good. So that must be uh, just the um, what should we call it? Um, hub, hub. That's where I was looking for hub. So let me set this off. What does what's the WPS button do? So there you go. So it looks like when I've stripped it of its sticker. It's quite smart, I'll be honest with you. And they match. Look, they've both got the, uh, the same uh, meshy thing on them. A bit like my trainers. If you watch my unboxing and setup and use and review of my trainers, that's exactly what it is. Um, to be honest with you, I don't think it's ever going to have anything plugged into it directly. It's got a rubber bit on it there as well, which seems a bit weird. That is rubber, that bit. I mean, why? Why is that, why? why? I mean, I mean, literally, why? Anyway, um, 
this is the exciting bit now. I do that, I do that a lot. Yeah. Sean Locke, which is a bit worrying. Um, the exciting bit is, I'm going to set it up now, which can only mean one thing. This video is going to go on for never. I apologise in advance. Let's go. Right then, so what you need to do is take out your old internet and plug in. Remember, it's a wall socket and we are supposed to push me in and don't it. So I just get right down here. Just push it. Right. So that's in. Then we go to the other side. So this is where it's going to go. So we'll get it all set up and I'll be back in a moment. Right then, so we've got cables. Now, it does say you screw this into this, but this says push me and don't screw and it's the splitter or broadband and this is the splitter and that's the wall and that's this cable. So we're going to plug that into there by just pressing it in. There we go. So now we've got all these cables coming out of it, which are these cables here. So what I'm going to do now is get the various bits and pieces to touch these cables to. Sounds easy. I hope it is. Okay, so we've got the wires round to a degree. Um, now this one is for the uh, broadband. And this is the new broadband hub. So that plugs in there like so push dot screw and then that just plugs into ethernet one which is up here somewhere so there you go so that's ready to go just needs plugging in okay then so i've wired it all up i'm going to switch it on at the back which is here oh well it's lit up on it it's quite bright Of course, I've got no idea whether it's working or not. So we'll come back to that in a bit. Meanwhile, we need to sort the TV port out. So let's get the box. Right, so I've put the plugs and the wires through. So we need to connect it up now. So there's our unit. And we've got the power supply, which we'll plug in, I assume there, yep. And then we've got the Aerial, which I assume plugs in there, yeah. And then you've got the one which plugs in there. Is that right? Yeah, I think that's right. Okay then. So now we need the HDMI. Right, so I've plugged in the HDMI to the TV. I've got the HDMI here, which we're now going to plug into where it says HDMI there. And we'll spin it off, switch it on, spin it round. And that is a new look box, which is now logging on or doing whatever they do. I don't know what the boxes do, I'll be honest with you. We will get the remote, we will pull out that bit, um, and then Shut it properly and then we'll try and turn on the actual box. What I need to do now is I need to move the TV channel to the one that it is. So it now says, so it now says welcome, which to me is a good sign. Meanwhile, let's do it so I can see both of them so it's going welcome and the box is uh, lighting up and switching off and doing this that and the other uh, meanwhile this is just saying welcome so we'll pause it for now and we'll come back in a minute when it stops saying welcome all oh, right it says uh, now it says please wait in various languages 
Right, so we've got a spinny circle, which means something's happening. No idea what that is, but we will find out forthwith and shortly. Um, or not, as the case may be. No, or not. It's now downloading the latest... That was quick. It's <laughs> downloading the latest... And it just went... Brrr, like that. Which is uh, it's quite quick, I'll be honest with you. By quite quick, I mean me, that was quick. And now we've got some cogs. Installing software. Your box will reboot shortly. Screen's gone black. Screen's gone black. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Warning. Warning. Screen gone black. Warning. 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 And it's still black. Warning. Warning. Ah! Oh! E uh, HDMI 1. Which is where it is on my telly. To be fair, it's an old telly, this. It probably needs replacing. Uh, oh, we're back to welcome again. Okay, back soon. Right, update. I've connected uh, my second phone to it and it seems to be working well. And this is updated at the same time, simultaneously, both together and that. Um, there's a lot of uh, flashing from the uh, new router, which is the, uh, the box to the left of the TV screen. I'd also like to point out that uh, it looks orange on this TV, uh, on this screen, but actually on the TV it's not. Uh, right, enjoy Virgin TV, okay. Um, blah, 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 pressing down, thank you. It's okay to get going. Guide, catch up. Um, oh, let's go to The Apprentice. Watch. I have to sign in to watch. But anyway, it's working. That's the main thing. Um, so all I have to do now is log into everything. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget that you need to uh, click subscribe and check all the other unboxings and setting ups that I've done. Um, I've just got the TV going, so this is a bit of an extra. Um, and I like the way that the thing scrolls. That's pretty cool. The only problem is, I've had Freeview for that long. I've now got to learn all these blinking um, brand new numbers, which I'm not familiar with. Plus the Sky on there, and I don't have Sky, so I can't watch Sky. Uh, Upgrade? No, I'm not going to upgrade. Um, ITV, so yeah, all these new numbers. Um, ITV4, ITVB. Uh, can't do that, can't do that, can't do that. Why is it showing me the ones that I can't watch? Dave, I can watch, really. Yesterday, I love uh, Yesterday. Secrets of London Underground is a brilliant programme. Um, although that's not it, that's the secrets of the Transport Museum advertisement. Um, but yeah, uh, I do like that a lot. Um, drama, Dave Javu. Yeah, they're all completely different numbers and I've memorised all the numbers of all my favourite channels. This is going to be a nightmare. Um, let's have a look at some uh, Channel 4 HD. Watch live. So this is in HD apparently. It's HD TV, so... Maybe I just have to learn all the HD channel numbers. Uh, but I do like the way all the logos come up. And I like the way all the fours are together. To be fair, on Freeview, they're all over the place here. They're all together in one spot. So as soon as you know what uh, four is, which is 141, one, uh, then you're off. Uh, so that's good. Re CBS Reality, Horror Channel, uh, 5 Action, 5 Star, 5 Select, 5 USA, 5 Plus 1, Pick. Um, local, why is it always Liverpool? Uh, we're in Greater Manchester, we're not in uh, Merseyside. Why is it always Liverpool? Uh, Challenge, um, Alba, uh, BBC Scotland, what? You know, I didn't know that was a thing. S4C, um, Quest HD, Quest Red, all these other ones I can't use. I can use 4 plus, yeah, I can use 4 plus 1. Uh, USA plus 1, 5 Star plus 1, Great TV. Uh, CBS Justice, 4 plus 1, CBS Drama, oh, oh, um, see that doesn't work, uh, Yesterday plus 1 on the old uh, Freeview, 
but it works on this, so that's good. And obviously you can record lots of different things as well. Um, I can join Netflix if I want. I've got Prime Video, so I can click on Prime Video with this as well, um, if I wanted to. Um, uh, Quest Plus One again, Blaze, uh, Drama, lots of channels, the channels I can't watch. I need to remove these if there's a way of doing that because I'm never going to pay for them. Uh, Together TV, TV, uh, PBS America, Forces TV. I do like Forces TV, it's quite good. Uh, Food HGTV plus one, uh, God, no, I'll leave that one alone. So yeah, I'm going to have to tweak it a little bit. But, um, oh, we got all the music channels, that's good. And then you got the welcomes, and then you got all the Sky stuff again. Great TV, great movies, film four, film four plus one, talking pictures. So yeah, I do like the way it does that. That's pretty cool. Um, anyway, that is definitely it now. Till next time. Bye. Nice engine.